Ethan, why aren't you going to play outside? Mom, am I beautiful? Ethan, you are the most beautiful little train to me, my darling. I'm beautiful to you because you're my mom. But what about the others? Ethan, outer beauty is not the only thing that matters. Good deeds matter. Politeness, kindness, and honesty. You need them to be beautiful, my love. Is that it? I'll go and do something good to become the most beautiful little train in the whole city. What? <sighs> it's beautiful, huh? Oh, Ethan, you scared me. I think its beauty is stunning. What, more than mine, you mean? Ethan, you're kidding me. You can't possibly compare yourself with this microscope here. What microscope, George? Ethan, are you sure that one good deed is enough to become beautiful? You might need two good deeds for the whole body to be beautiful. One should be enough to get beautiful eyes. Hello, Mrs. Dove. Can we help you to get to your wagon home, please? Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. You are so very nice. You see, George? We are nice before we actually did something. Can you imagine mm -hmm. our stunning beauty after we do good deeds? Oh, the wagon is so heavy. <sighs> hey, look at me. Am I now more beautiful than before? I think that your left eye got a bit wider. Oh, then a wagon is not enough to make me beautiful. Mrs. Dove, can we please clean up your house? Ooh. I completely forgot about being polite, honest, and kind. I just wanted to say, Mrs. Dove, thank you very much for everything. Thank you so much for letting us clean your floor, Mrs. Dove. Thank you very much, boys. I appreciate it. All the best to you, Mrs. Dove. And bon appetit. <coughs> and good night to you. Oh. <gasps> All right. The good deeds are done, and we've been polite. Honesty is left. It's one serious trail. Can we clean a floor again instead? Okay, then. I broke a glass, I was late for school, I didn't brush my teeth, I haven't done my homework, I didn't listen to my mom. And I forgot to clean my room and... Well, okay, it's time for my turn now. Back in the time when I was a little train, I was late for <sighs> class once. <laughs> All right, then. I guess now it's time for kindness. And then, George, beauty will be ours. Whoa! Oh! Guys, I'm sorry. It was an accident, I swear. Oh, Arnold, you're such a great guy, Arnold. Mm -hmm. You hit me just a little bit, and my bruise is so small. Are you hurt at all, Arnold? Hey, sorry, guys. I'd better be going. <sighs> Hello, kids. Well, then, isn't it a lovely day today, eh? Hello, General. Uh, can you tell us something? We've been kind, honest, and polite from the beginning of the day to the end of it. When shall we become more beautiful? It's very good to be honest, polite, and kind, that's for sure, of course, dear boys. But one day is not enough to become beautiful. You need to be like this forever, every day for the rest of your lives. Boom, boom, boom. Uh. Oh, Ethan, as a matter of fact, I think your other eye got wider, too. <laughs> hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. Awesome movie! With the sword cut in half, then he was alive again! I was on the edge of my seat. He sat through the whole movie with his eyes shut. He didn't see a thing, I swear. No, no, I wasn't. I heard everything. <gasps> oh, look, old Billy's house is like the Black Castle in the movie. <gasps> what was that? I can hear someone is snarling. 
And it's definitely not a steam engine. It's as if somebody is creeping up on a victim. Creeping up on a victim? Ah! So Grandpa Billy changes into a monster every moonlit night, just like this tale says right here. What kind of monster can you check up and learn about? It's important. Well, it doesn't actually say here, but it sounds horrible and dangerous. Very dangerous. Poor old Billy. It's because he's so lonely, I guess. But what if we're wrong about it? There's only one way to check up our theory, guys, and I think I got it. <laughs> guys, I say we wait until the full moon comes out. And then we'll just... What, what will happen then? Well, surely, then he'll come out and eat you up. That's what. Why me? It could be you. I helped Grandpa Billy water his flowers and you didn't, you know. George, why did you bring a bucket of water? I heard that, or rather I read in a book that if you water them, they become friendlier. That's it. Guys, the moon is out now. Soon Grandpa Billy will turn the lights off and then... Arnold, put the bucket down. I was only holding it, you know. What do you know? Everybody needs a bucket. <laughs> Why did you run away? Why did you run away? That's it, everyone. Now we need to take action immediately, guys. Okay, bait is delicious food that a monster loves, but he doesn't have any for himself. I don't want to be bait. Besides, you know I'm not delicious at all. Oh, but you're just a, a fat guy. Huh, it makes you so yummy, so live with it. How's he gonna find out that I'm here? Well, first he'll smell you, and then he'll come out and eat you up. I mean, he'll try to, but we'll give him a treat from the bucket. George, I think I don't have any smell at all. Then how? Like this? Oh. No, no, not appetizing enough. Learn from me. Listen. Ooh! Huh? That's outrageous! They won't let an old man sleep. There he is. There. Spill water on him quickly now, quickly. There you are, you naughty kids. Just you wait. Go away. Oh. <laughs> I wish I were you. Look at me, I'm all wet. You know what I think. Maybe Grandpa Billy made noises in his sleep like this. Was he just snoring? <laughs> hey, George! Are you coming to play? Hey, George! Poor George. George got an electric shock. <sighs> Scary, isn't it? This is my new invention. It's called George 2000. He's my twin robot. He will do the house cleaning for me. Oh, George, you're a genius. How do you manipulate him? <gasps> With a remote. Just see this. George is good for nothing. <gasps> uh, sorry, wrong button. Here, George is the most hardworking little train in the world. I think the first phrase was a bit more accurate. So you wanted to play outside? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, George, house cleaning mode. Okay, let's go now. Well, well, the great Professor George. He created something special, a robot. <laughs> Good afternoon. Oh. 
What is going on here, eh? Can I water the flowers, please? Kid, watering flowers is a very serious business. Uh, but I see you are a very responsible little train. Why don't you go on and do it? Uh, and in the meantime, I will take a nap. And I can really use one. What's going on now? What have you done? Grandpa Billy, I brought you some cakes. Grandpa Billy, what's going on here? Whoa! Who's mm. disturbing that piece here? It's George. It's George. It's all his fault, I tell you. Well, well. Where is this naughty kid, then? There he is. Stop him now. <laughs> Dear me, they're identical. Now tell me who made the mess in Grandpa Billy's garden. It was all my twin robot. Honestly, it's not my fault at all. No, he is my twin robot. Liar, you are the twin. I am George. No, I am George. No, I am. 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 I am. No, I am. Catch me. No, I am. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you drop this? <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh, George. What have you done now? Uh, now I know for sure, guys. I guess I have to clean my room by myself. Hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. I can't understand it. Such a good teacher like yourself having such a badly behaved son? We didn't know. Well, you should have known that. The railroad is no playground. It's very dangerous. Especially if you're clinging to moving wagons. That's dangerous for everybody, not just kids. And this time they got away with a scratch. But next time they could get seriously injured. I... I think it's time to go. Goodbye! What's wrong with you? How could you do that? Now go home. Your father will have a talk with you later. What's going on? Did they go and play on the railroad again? I told him a million times. And I assure you that we studied all the safety rules in class over and over again. Safety rules, you say? Mm-hmm. I see. Well, it's time to study the unsafety rules then. Just trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Children, I need your help now. We are all going to teach someone the unsafety rules. Hey. Oh, those adults. They always worry and for nothing. <laughs> Arnold, wake up! Don't fall asleep! Our adventures are waiting! Hey, 
Hey, George, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Want to go with me where I've been yesterday? Yeah, but first tell me where you were yesterday. Playing on the railroad. It's so cool. I broke something when I played there, but the doctor says in two years I'll be fine. Can you three help me and push me to the railroad? Because I can't go by myself anymore. Hmm. No. It's too early for you. It's just too bad he played on the railroad, eh? <gasps> oh, hey, guys. Do you like our new look? You know, now I have to go out in two separate parts. Can you imagine that? Huh? But what happened to you guys? Oh, nothing much. We were clinging on to Grandpa Billy when all of a sudden he reversed. I'm telling you, it was great fun. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but they say that someday the pain may pass. Is it fun or what? Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, maybe can we go to the library instead of oh, that? No. Uh, we had some plans, remember? Vera, you were a very good girl. Playing on the railroad is what it's all about. Yes, Mother. And now the joy is tearing me apart. <laughs> Uh, w where was it that we wanted to play on? Mm, well, now I changed my mind. So, how do I get to the library? Turn left at the corner. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> I think that they finally got the point. It was much easier than making our dad stop snoring at uh, night. To begin with... Here is the road traffic safety guide, and we'll start with the signs first. Hey, right? uh, can I be the first to read it? Hey! Tell me something. What are these grave faces for? Where are you going, huh? huh. Heading to the library or what? Hey, guys! Now we're studying for a quiz about safety rules. As a matter of fact, the lesson is today. Want to come with us? Come with you to study? I hate studying. It's way too boring. All the more for that safety rules nonsense. I know how to use the fire cartridge. What I know is enough, right? Oh. Uh-huh. It's boring. You'd fall asleep. Ah, uh, yeah, it's boring. You'd fall asleep. You would. Well, whoever wants to go and waste their time may go and study without me. And we are going to play now. Do whatever you please. Off you go, all. Look at me. I'm a rocket. I'm the speediest of all. And I, and I, I can go even faster. Watch me! And I have a blaster, and I can go pew, pew, pew. Awesome. Let's go on the big railroad and play oh. there. Oh, no. But it's You dangerous. coward. Why don't you go and play in a playground with babies? All right. Let's go, then. But not too far, okay? Awesome. Just look at these wagons. Oh, there must be a million of them. Come on. A train cannot possibly be that long. Less than a billion. That's for sure, I believe. Oh, how do we get over to the road? Oh, let's creep under the wagon. <gasps> ah, what do you mean? Crawl under the uh, wagon? No way. You must not creep under wagons. It's very dangerous. It's dangerous for you, Arnold. For you. Not dangerous for me. <gasps> Hey, come on, really, cowards. You're so funny, guys. Why did you shut your eyes? Oh, there were trillions of wagons. I thought they'd never end, I swear. I swear I did. Hey, guys, I was so terrified that I think I lost some weight. <gasps> when I grow up, I'll be carrying wagons. Just like these. And Arnold will get so fat that he will have to be towed himself. <laughs> <sighs> Or push from behind, huh? I'll be speeding, of course. And Arnold will go like, Hey, Sam Sparky, where are you uh, going? Wait for me. Uh, hey, what was that? 
Why am I moving? Why am I moving? Oh! Hey, Sam Sparrow, where are you going? Wait for me! Switch yourself off the wagon! Switch yourself off the wagon! Oh, no, I can't! The lock is jammed! Where is Sam Sparky? Uh, 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 tell me what's happened. Oh. Uh, Sam Sparky, he is, uh, well, he's traveling. Where is he traveling? We don't know, actually. We've never asked him. I think he's far away. Hey, there he is, look. Here, <sighs> here is your runaway. The train had to make an emergency stop because of him. How could you defy the safety rules after I taught them to you so carefully? Now remember, children, a railroad is not a place for playing games. Please forgive me, officer. I will never do that again, I promise. We will never, never do, do that, that. Please, please. Oh, please. please. We promise. Oh, all right. But this is the last time. Well, what do you say, guys? Are you going with us to study for the safety rules quiz that's coming up soon? Isn't it too late, Wendy? <laughs> it would have been too late if you had been gone for good, huh. but you came back. <laughs> Ethan. It's too late. Time to go to bed. Aw, please, Mom, please. Just let me read one more page, Mom. The mighty hero. Hey, are you at home, good sir? What do you want, good lady? Oh, good sir, there has been a great disaster. What, was a barn burnt out again? No, not a barn. The three-headed fire dragon has eaten all the harvest. I see now. Wait, let me go ask my mom if I can go fight the dragon right now. Yes. Get on your way, good lady. I'll go and bring two fellow heroes with me as soon as I can. After all, we're called the Three Mighty Heroes. Quite a big dragon this one is. Let's strike him with a club while he's asleep. Maybe he'll fly away in fear. Who is going to strike with a club then? Oh well, we woke him up and now we'll have to fight him. Hey dragon, come face us in a fight. We'll have no mercy for you. No mercy. And who are you exactly? Listen, I really can't see you well at all. We are the three mighty heroes. Hey, actually, we are two heroes and one heroine. Oh hi guys, I'm here. Oh look, it's him. He ate everything while we were asleep. Don't bother whispering. I can hear everything. Hey, are you spitting on us or what? What? Oh, help! A fire! Ah, uh, take that! Oh, oh, oh it hurts! Oh, 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 take that! Oh, well, oh, all right oh, then. I guess we'll oh, be going. That. Have take a great that. weekend. Oh, Dragons say to each other, make oh, friends, make oh, friends, oh, never, oh, never break friends. Okay then. The dragon is taken care of. Let's go and give a ticket to the witch for polluting. Not true. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Have any of you seen the golden fish around here? Well, she owes me one thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's a poacher, guys. Take charge of him. Come on. Oh, look there. Cinderella is right behind you. What? Where? Where? Where's Cinderella? What a fraud he was, guys. Who could expect this from a graybeard? Little cabin, could you turn your face to us? Your back is to the forest. Oh dear, but this is my face. I just don't look so good today. Achoo! I've got the flu. Forest witch, come out and surrender. You can't hide away from us. We can see your wooden legs stretching out of the window. Oh dearie me. She doesn't live here anymore. She moved out yesterday, actually. <laughs> it isn't the witch's leg, it's Pinocchio's leg. He's living here now instead of her. Oh dear, no, we're late again. It must be Sleeping Beauty sleeping. Let's wake her up. Because with her snoring, she won't let anybody else sleep for a long time. Who is the Sleeping Beauty here? 
I'll show you the Sleeping Beauty. Who would have known it was a giant? They all snore alike anyway. Qua, qua. Hey, that's my arrow. I've been looking all over for it. Do you speak froggies? How can I tell her? Why is she winking at me? Ahem. <clears throat> my dearest, uh, Qua, qua. His arrow, Qua, qua, is mine. Thank you so much, Qua, qua. Oh, my Prince Charming, my beloved fiancé. Hey, I want a fair princess too. Ethan, Ethan, are you asleep? Ethan! Tell me, are you asleep, sweetie? Oh, where is my fair princess? Oh! <laughs> hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. An extraordinary event is coming next month. A giant comet will fly in space between our train city and the moon. Wow, a comet! We must go and welcome it, guys. I think I have an idea. George, are you sure we have enough soap for a long flight? Our soap engine produces 1,000 bubbles a second at the least. The comet is at a distance of 150 million bubbles. What's your school math grade anyway? Start the main soap engine. out there. These countless stars. What is this lovely blue planet? Is it Earth? Yes. And there is our train city, guys. It's right over there. Oh, where in the world is Ethan? I'm here, hanging. Uh, I mean, hovering. Be very careful in a gravity-free state. <laughs> uh. oh. Attention, please. We're approaching the comet. Everybody, Attention, take please. your seats. We're landing We're on the comet. The comet. Well, everybody, welcome to the comet. It doesn't seem welcoming at all. A cool place, if you ask me. It's really cool. Be careful, Ethan. Space winds may sweep you away. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Whoa, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! whoa. 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 Ah. Oh. Will I ever stop tossing and turning today? I'm sick to my stomach. Wow, what a funny space dream I'm having. We are happy to welcome you to our comet, alien. Welcome to your comet? Is it real then? Wait, why do we look alike? Are we relatives? We always take a shape of an object we see for the first time. And this is the first time we see you. Awesome. We'll split into three groups and look for Ethan. I'll start by... <gasps> <gasps> hey, look, guys! I'm here! Didn't you mean we are here? Ethan, enough with your tricks! funny comet aliens. Did you see them? Yeah, they took the shape of our tank wagon. <laughs> George, what did you give them as a souvenir? I gave them soap. They've never seen it before, ever. I'll hail soap. Ouch. 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 
Hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes. <laughs> <laughs>